about small accessories for the spring summer. I can see that a lot of color is going to be happening in the trends section. Okay, these jackets are actually quite cute. I saw some of the bags in Abu Dhabi, we don't have as wide a selection, so it's worth checking the Dubai one. Okay, what we can see stripy cardigan, lovely stripy cardigan, a skirt, a dual colored blocked jumper just as I did before. I think the, the presentation <laughs> for the pasties, I didn't like it so much, that's why I didn't come. The color in pearl. But okay, today we're just gonna be focused on the bags. So they do quite good quality uh, bags. They're not as cheap as like the Zara and Mango, but it's leather and they actually last you a while. So for the like a relaxed look, sometimes you need a rounded bag. The rounded bag actually is neat when you wear a lot of suits a lot of things that are like more structured because you need some roundness for this feminine touch I just spotted these few jumpers so this is the stripy cardigan uh, the same as we could see on the on a mannequin and they give me very scandy uh, totemy vibes especially this one it's just right it's cropped it has the piping the black on the back on a top and on the bottom that's really cute if we move over to uh, an accessory section let's see what you can see in the accessory section the hats they actually make good at like some small accessories like hats caps I have one from uh, Paul Ralph Lauren and this one looks really cute as well it's canvas they have the beige one here we have a little bit of lingerie oh my god i think i found something that i really really like i like this color and um, the texture and the way like it's made with the melange the pink with the white piping so to add a like a little color but if you're not color confident look for the textured color it's so much easier to wear so uh, you probably seen it in one of my posts it actually goes like with any like black bottom even like leather trouser and with the white with the white bottom as well i feel like uh, color is really coming back so i'm in a shoe section now so let's let's do the shoes now and the bags Okay, um, there's loads, but I'm gonna be showing you just a uh, few items that I think my favorite. These might, like, you might think that they are cute. I think they might be cute for wearing around the house. But, like, to be honest, whenever I saw people, like, wearing something like this, it does not, like, work for most of the people. Maybe if you're, like, really, really petite and a small leg and put on a sock. But otherwise, I don't really feel like it's the style. Um, these are gonna be there again, you know, the, the ones inspired by the, the row sandal. But this one was slightly uncomfortable as I can remember they made another one with like a softer padding it looks to me like a pedicure shoe you know like the shoes that you would wear after you had your pedicure but this actually is a very nice color I'm wearing sneakers today so I'm sorry I'm not gonna be trying them on for you but I'll show you the quality and I'll show you the close-ups because on the website you really can actually see if it's a good quality or not so these actually look very elegant problem with these I have the tiki sandals so sometimes this thing just goes apart and then it's like really weird so it doesn't hold up together so you need to be careful like your legs could get wet or sweaty as you can see it's already doing this so it looks very very cute but it might be just not as long lasting as you would want with the loafers i think i showed you this one silver previously i really like that silver loafer this one is very very much like gucci actually from the far away you could really pretend it's a gucci the gucci would have just like a longer a toe and it would like you know finer detailing these loafers they just have a little bit too much chunky details i'm not into the boots uh okay these colors are actually really good and i think like these are, are going to be super versatile and super like long wearing 
with almost anything it just like a heel but in a form of the boot or you can go for the metallic literally with anything uh you could wear especially like with the blacks with the denims the suede the suede is softer effect yeah these are really really um, elegant and timeless I would say if uh, you live in an environment that can accommodate the suede with a thin heel uh, these ones are I think they made them year by year they actually are e even more classy because that type of heel might go out of style in a season or two but this one is timeless uh, with a square square toe same as for this one the chunky sole boots okay so there's a few options here that's just me i'm gonna show you my outfit in a bit so in a chunkier sole uh this looks really good decent uh so if you wanted to oversize it better go for like super oversized because this is kind of like on the medium side it's kind of like chunky but not too much um so it looks uh, like very much like the masculine Boot. This one is like a almost a knee-high boot with a secret thicker sole, which I really find it's very cute. And if you have any shorts or dresses that you want to wear, I think this is gonna be my favorite. Although, like I don't know if how much more of the winter months you have, you can wear it. Um, maybe if it's gonna be on sale. This is actually like a really really nice leather, really nice quality. Looks very expensive. And we are at the bags section. Okay, mosh on the shoes. The Vegas and uh, sneaker. It's really good and actually like very versatile. Uh, but you need to find a color co combination that suits you. So I think a little bit of color is going to be good, but maybe not too much. I once tried them in a similar colorway and it just was a little bit too pale to my taste. I like my sneakers to have a little bit like red or the green or navy this one is a very muted the with the wool but um, so something like this is cute but it's just like very seasonal and this one as you can see it has a little pop of the it's brown but it's like reddish brown which actually lifts it up a bit and i i really like how it looks so in a small colored bag they don't have anything maybe they have it um in another department so let's take a look I think these bags, you have seen them before, a bit like Bottega. Bottega slightly changed and um, now they're not going to be as trendy, like these designs are going to be quite seasonal. What else is here? I feel like these uh, hobo bags in soft leather are coming back because they're convenient and they're easy to, to wear. They hold a lot. The mock croc leather bag looks really good if you remember that story girls i had a skirt from the other stories that was made of this type of leather and i made it into a bag it's just such a wonderful bag that i have but it, you can probably do the opposite if you're good with like upcycling i made a post in my telegram group i don't know if you guys if you know that one but i was in love in, with this t-shirt so it comes in many colors i have the white one it's just so beautifully cut and it's my favorite t-shirt ever to be honest I tried the totemé, uh, but the totemé didn't wash as well as I expected to. It has a really nice color that's like cream and it's kind of easy to wear, but after the wash it just doesn't look fresh, but that one keeps the shape very well. And somebody also recommended to me to check out the cost t-shirts and I have not um, been there yet. I found a beautiful silky silk shirt for you. It has a little bit too many buttons, but I think it looks beautiful. Not like the squashed silk. They're just uh, like enjoyable to wear like because it feels good on your skin. How do you like my manicure? Okay, beauty. I've never tried anything from that. The story beauty. Sunglasses. Colors. How do I make something green? Uh, this dress is kind of cute. I'm really sorry guys, I'm not really in the mood for trying things on today, but I just want to show you like the highlights. This jumper looks beautiful. I think I can see a lot of bloggers wearing this jumper and it's a non-itchy non material. A bit thicker, so not like all seasonal, 
but like really nice pop of color. And you remember I have a shirt from Arcade, so Arcade and you know Pose and other series, they're gonna be making things in the same factories. So this is really beautiful as well for those who don't want to wear a lot of color, but a little bit of color. So imagine it with a with the whites or with the denims. I really like this. The stripy cream against lilac lavender. So, and here is the white t-shirt I was raving about. So they come in two shapes. One is fitted, one is boxy. So the boxy t-shirt is just perfect. For some reason, they um, like I added it to my blog where um, I share my wardrobe pieces. I'll just put bases here, but it's just like the image is not showing correctly. For some reason, I can see more denim. Denim shirt. This is gorgeous. This is a very gorgeous denim shirt. The color is not as designer as, you know, the Yves Saint Laurent, but the cut is beautiful. And it has the, how do you call them? Buttons. Snap closure buttons. Really, really love it. So, a lot of denim and bright colors are happening. In the other stories, another shirt that's a long line shirt for you and a dark. This is also very beautiful. I think I would all even like wear it with a white. I have bought too many things because you know when I review things, I want to keep them because everything seems so beautiful. I'm not really good recently to be like minimalist. These colors are really bright. Uh, they it's not something that works exactly well for my complexion, so I'm just gonna pass it. The trousers are really nice, and this is the material that looks really a nice premium and expensive and as you can see that like, it holds the shape very well because they sometimes don't have enough time to steam everything but this is thick enough and it has the good the good lines i was just passing by and i saw these scarves very very much like totem print there is the code and I'm, I'm gonna give you a link for these very very beautiful and the material is like slightly woolly so it's warm but all season also probably for the summer for the spring summer months actually i love it i don't know if i should get it uh what is the material oh, okay the material is actually 100 wool but it's a very fine knit wool i can't see any colors here in the bags but if i'll find uh, i'll paste a photo for you and i'll give you a link here we are like in a parisian department i think of the store which is not exactly my favorite but they have some reduced options um, some other things that are good basics that i usually get at the h&m actually look at this they have some bright colored green green shirt with the apple and strawberries and grapes that's very cute another shirt with the broderie like or slightly more feminine i could see like a swedish vlogger like if you have a country house or if you can go into a country house and you know film recipes you would totally or something like this with like a white denim and you can be looking cute and swedish uh another brodery shirt in white with a bit like heavier embellished stitched on like brodery for somebody who loves a lot of whites and a lot of like volume it's such a good like it's you know like this piece just gives you good mood and, oh my god i yeah you know these like polo neck jumpers they have been really popular lately and uh, yeah you can get it in a bright color like this blue let me think about it because you know like sometimes you want to wear a jumper but all the jumpers they have you know like closed neck closures so you don't have like this really beautiful cleavage that you get and if you get the cardigan cardigan has a lot of buttons so it's a bit too bulky so the that uh, jumper thing like the polo neck jumper is just a good solution and they also make them fitted like the crop fitted like for very young people but it's really cute and i like the top waffle you probably know me i like every anything that has a nice texture to it and here we go another pop of color with this gorgeous green dress i'm not sure how wearable it's gonna be but definitely you'll get a lot of like instagram likes if you wear it yeah so as you can tell uh, with the zara zara does colors on a very shiny material so they're not so easy to wear well this is made beautifully and uh, mother of pearl buttons and a really nice you know like tailoring 
here and detailing on the color on the collar shirt dress that's very very nice I can see something else that I just think might be pretty cute I'm not sure if it's a dress or a long line shirt but I guess you can style it in different ways and make it like a loose styling but uh, quite quite relaxed I would say quite casual piece so the jewelry they have the bracelet with flowers like daisy yeah, daisy flowers uh, I had a ring from them recently that I really loved because when you do some you know videography photography you want to style your hands you want to wear nice bracelets this is looking very nice as well and the other like jewelry pieces that I wanted to show you. I got actually just a white jacket. It's a really, really gorgeous white denim. So here we are at the jewelry section. Let's see if they have the basics that I love. So if you don't yet have a chunkier necklace, I think it's maybe worth checking this ones out because um, it's just something that really works now with like chunkier blazers and you know oversized items that you have in your wardrobe. I really love this one. This one that I have is from uh, Nezaporte or Lombardi brand. But you can also find something very similar at H&M or the other stories. Yeah, this is the ring that I really like, the textured rings that you have and you can like style your hands very beautifully. Like if you want to make a photography of your hands, if you're not a jewelry designer course and I really like some of these basic earrings that they have I'm wearing my other earrings now but uh, they have some of the earrings that come that are made in silk or recycled brass and the quality is very 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 good I have these not these hoops but similar style of hoops I think they change them year by year but um, honestly they just have like really good proportions here and with that like, with the mango jewelry it's like very inexpensive it's more inexpensive and it's more like fashiony these ones uh, just have like more long-lasting design I feel and the, the quality is good I actually have a pair of my favorite like everyday earrings and they from other stories the circular ones they don't have it here today but uh, they have some studs here and here is my outfit that I was wearing today I have my mango jeans you were asking me about the size the size 34 they're really loose and long line and I managed to like style them <laughs> with these uh, shoes, which I did not expect at all. So if the, even the, because it's a little bit longer than I usually wear uh, the jeans, but they work nicely because they fold and I don't step on the jeans. I have my Kate top that you probably see a lot and my staple uh, blazer that is from Orchid. I might, <laughs> I'm thinking about getting the same one in a lighter shade. Yeah, that's everything guys. And I hope you enjoyed watching and check out my Instagram as well. And I'm gonna be doing some fun videos uh, later on this year on TikTok. So you can check my TikTok as well. Handle Anastasia finds. I'll see you in my next one.